the start of a new season brings in a new fleet of bikes, and to help you work out who's going to be riding what, we've put together the entire list of World Tour bikes you can expect to see over the coming season. Let's have a look. We kick things off with a very subtle change. AG2R Citroen will still be on their BMC team and tyre machines equipped with Super Record, Campagnolo group sets, Bora wheels with physique saddles. They'll also be running power to max power meters linked to their Wahoo head units. They'll be hoping this setup propels Ben O'Connor to yet another Tour de France stage win. As Vincenzo Nibli returns to the newly named Astana Kazakhstan on a one-year contract, he'll be hoping the beautiful Villier Zero SL will be able to light fireworks underneath him and take him back to the top step. They'll be running Shimano Durace group sets, Karima wheels, Garmin head units and Pro Logo saddles. It's fair to say they lived up to the name and had an incredibly victorious 2021, with wins in all three Grand Tours and Paris Bay. They'll be hoping to double down on that success with the continued partnership with Merida, running their Reacto and Sculptura and Time Warp. These will be kitted out with Shimano Durace, Vision Wheels, FSA Finishing Kit and Pro Logo Saddles. First of the many teams to be fighting on the specialised S-Works Tarmac SL7 are the Germans at Bora Hansgrohe. With potentially the best kit design of the year, they'll be hoping to seal some more significant victories on board these do-it-all machines. These bikes will be equipped with specialised own Roval wheels and finishing kit, Shimano Durace and Wahoo head units. The inscription on the inside of the fork reads, no off-season, however, we can only hope the riders have managed to take some time off before it is yet to be an explosive calendar. The consistently dominant team of Canyon Tram looks set to remain consistent with their bike setup too, riding the Canyon Ultimate and Aeroad both fitted with Shram group sets, zip wheels, quark power meters and Garmin head units. Going into their seventh year on Canyon bikes, there is no doubt that this team will once again be a force to be reckoned with during 2022. While it's been nice to see the team embrace a new look on their kit, it seems the bikes did not deserve as much of a change. It's not an identical setup to last year however, with Karima coming in to supply the wheels and a slightly different paint job on the DeRosa 838. Wahoo head units, Sel Italia saddles, Michelin rubber and Campagnolo group sets complete the build. As the American team welcomes a new title sponsor for both male and female squads, it looks like we'll be seeing very similar bikes for a second year. Longtime supporter of the team, Cannondale, will be supplying the Super 6 for the mountains and the System 6 for the flats. They'll be running on Vision wheels clad with Vittoria rubber, FSA finishing kit and power to max power meters. True to form, the French squad will continue to ride French bikes from Lapierre, the Airco DRS for the fast stages and the Zelius SL for the hilly ones. These bikes will be fitted with Shimano Durace group sets and wheels, wearing Continental rubber, Pro Logo saddles and Garmin head units. They'll be hoping this setup can take them to the top step after a fairly lacklustre 2021. As the Ineos Grenadiers start their 13th year of racing, they can still be found riding the Pinarellos that have brought them so much success. However, only now as the late adopters, disc brake Pinarellos are starting to infiltrate their ranks. They'll be riding the Dogma F equipped with a full Shimano setup including group set and wheels. They'll be perched on physique saddles whilst they look down at their Garmin head units. We know of the Dogma's ability to take on the mountains, but I'm sure newly returning Elia Viviani will also be hoping some of that winning magic rubs off in the sprints. After their rookie year at World Tour level, Intermarche, Wanty Gobert will be sticking with their Cube bikes, Newman wheels, Shimano components, Continental tyres and Pro Logo saddles. They enjoyed a smattering of wins including a Grand Tour stage victory at the Giro. And if their first year in the World Tour is anything to go by, I'm sure they're on course for an even better 2022.
Premier Tech joins the Israeli squad as co-title sponsor after leaving Astana at the end of last year. They look to be running a fairly similar setup again. This includes the Factor Ostro Vam, black ink wheels and finishing kit, along with Shimano components. With so many of the squad out of the contract at the end of 2022, you can bet there will be some fierce competition in the ranks to secure their place for next year. The team that never seems to stop getting stronger is looking set to do that again. After signing mega talents Rohan Dennis, Tij Banu and Christophe Lepore, Jumbo Visma will once again be a team to beat, most likely at the Grand Tours. They'll be doing this aboard their tried and tested weapon of mass victory, the Cervelo S5 and R5, donned with Shimano Durace group sets and wheels, Garmin head units and physique saddles. It's fair to say we'll be seeing this set up on the top step once again in 2022. With Caleb Ewan claiming 50% of Lotto Sadao's victories for the entire 2021 season, he must have found a friend in the Ridley Noah he's been going to battle on. Much like last year, they will again be on the Ridley Noah, adorned with DT Swiss wheels wearing Vittoria Corsa rubber, Cell Italia saddles and Shimano Durace group sets. Alejandro Valverde will be starting his 21st year as a professional cyclist, but alas, it will be his last. He, along with his teammates, will mainly be jumping on board their Canyon Aeroad CFRs equipped with SRAM group sets, zip wheels, Continental tyres and Garmin head units. Young GC talent Ivan Ramiro Sosa will be joining the squad after a three-year tenure at the Ineos Grenadiers, and looks set to bring some much-needed youthful firepower to the roster. The number one ranked team of 2021 will enter the year with pretty much the same setup as last year. They'll be riding the specialised S-Works Tarmac SL7 fitted with Shimano Durace group sets, Roval wheels and pro finishing kit. They'll be making the switch over from Wahoo to Garmin head units. They may also be found using the specialised S-Works Roubaix for some of the cobbled classics. We're big fans of their look this year as they feature a matte sapphire blue paint job with blue decals, a very strong look from the Wolfpack. We're expecting to see the team to be on board the Look 785 Huez RS with SRAM componentry, Karima wheels and Sele San Marco saddles. Like the team, Look are venturing into the Women's World Tour for the first time and will hope to deliver the Swiss squad to victory. After a year out of the peloton, Giant have made a big comeback with the Australian outfit as they replaced their Bianchis with the Giant TCR Advanced SL Disc, the Aero Propel Advanced SL Disc, while the women's squad will be rolling on the Live Langmar Advanced SL Disc. They'll be shod with yet another new sponsor, Kdex Wheels, as they supply a second team in the top division. Team DSM are still riding Scott bikes and we'll see them return on the Addict and Foil. They'll be equipped with Shimano Durace group sets and wheels, Vittoria Corsa tyres and Wahoo head units. They only picked up a handful of World Tour wins in 2021, however, after signing a bunch of development riders, maybe they'll bring the fresh blood that's needed to switch their fate. Arguably one of the best looking bikes in the Women's World Tour, the SD Works Specialized S Works SL7 Tarmac is an absolute beauty. The varying shades of matte purple can do no wrong on this frame, which is also fitted with specialized own stem, seat post, saddle, and tires. The team is heavily sponsored by SRAM, as we can see from the SRAM Red Axis group set, Zip 353 NSW wheels, Zip handlebars, time pedals, and quark power meter. Since SRAM recently added Hammerhead to its family of brands, I'm sure we'll no doubt see this become their head unit of choice in the future. However, for the time being, they will be sticking with their Garmin Edge 830s. The men's squad at Trek Segafredo had a decidedly average 2021, with only a couple of key wins such as Milan San Remo and Stage 14 at the Tour. However, their female colleagues took a whole host of victories, including Lizzie Diagnon's emphatic win at the inaugural Paris-Roubaix Femmes. The co-title sponsors Trek will of course be supplying the rise for 2022, consisting of the Topper Monda and Madone frames, Bontrager wheels, SRAM group sets, Pirelli P0 tyres and Wahoo head units.
At first glance, these bikes could be mistaken for that of a world champion's custom colorway. Perhaps Manifestation is the next marginal gain. Similar to the men's UAE team, their Colnago V3 RSs will be fitted with a full Campagnolo Super Record group set with Campagnolo Bora Ultra wheels. These will be wearing Pirelli tyres and Elite bottle cages will finish the build. There's no doubt UAE Team Emirates will be targeting a third Tour de France victory with Tadej Pogacar at the helm. New signing George Bennett will be a key domestique in the mountains and the German sprint powerhouse Pascal Ackermann will hopefully deliver in the sprints. Colnago will continue to supply the bikes with Italian cousins Campagnolo supplying the group set and wheels. They'll be rolling on Pirelli rubber, SRM power meters and Prologo saddles. Dida handlebars and stems will be completing the builds. The brand new team of Uno X has pulled in some big hitters in the form of current women's hour record holder Joss Loudon and Hannah Barnes. They'll be riding the Dare MA AFO, fitted with a full Shimano Dura Race group set, DT Swiss Arc 1400 wheels, Schwalbe Pro 1 tyres, ceramic speed bottom bracket and wheel bearings, and Pro Logo saddles. So there we have it. Let us know down in the comments who's riding on your favourite bike. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and we'll see you again soon.